Spokesperson report 422 in front of the White House 78. Biden administration must stop all interference in the internal affairs of South Korea and withdraw the U.S. troops from South Korea first. First, Biden administration made a reckless remark that they will insist on keeping the hostile policy toward North Korea. The U.S. Department of State made an absurd remark. The U.N. sanctions against North Korea remains the same. It responds to the Moon Jae-in government's announcement of its willingness to promote tour to Mount Gungang. Regarding the U.S. South Korea Working Group, they commit to interfere in the internal affairs of South Korea. We will continue to consult closely as part of an ironclad alliance. On June 8, the U.S. Department of State used sophistry that Sanctions against North Korea are the responsibility of North Korea. The North Korean regime threatens international security by spreading illegal nuclear weapons and missiles. And UN sanctions are not intended to have adverse humanitarian consequences. Second, the U.S.'s interference and disruption in the Korean national affairs is clearly infringing on the sovereignty and interfering in the internal affairs of South Korea. The U.S.-South Korea Working Group, which was established in a month after the agreement of the Pyongyang Joint Declaration of September 2018, said there is no easing of sanctions on North Korea before denuclearization. And it is the working group for denuclearization which completely holds the implementation of inter-Korean agreements. There is no other reason for the absurd situation of a groundbreaking ceremony without construction on the inter-Korean railway in December of that day. The U.S. is frantic with its hostile maneuvers against North Korea, reinforcing sanctions against North Korea, and conducting nuclear war exercises against North Korea, and also waging maneuver of isolation and squeezing, and maneuver of internal collapse tenaciously, such as manipulating to send anti-North Korea leaflets and provocation of human rights. The broken inter-Korean relations and treacherous nuclear war crisis totally proceed from the U.S. Third. The U.S. must stop all interference in the internal affairs of South Korea and withdraw the U.S. troops from South Korea first. The nuclear war exercise against North Korea, led by the U.S. troops, is attempting a national division and confrontation in our nation, more escalating the Korean Peninsula's war crisis more in the present period. The root of all problems is responsible for the U.S. troops which are the occupying forces of the South and the invading forces of the North. The withdrawal of the U.S. troops is an essential prerequisite and vital task for the independence of our nation and democracy of our people. The people of South Korea will withdraw the U.S. troops from South Korea with united force, the source of war, the root of all evil, and realize accelerately national independence and people's democracy. June 11, 2021, in front of the White House, Washington, D.C. Spokesperson Office of the People's Democracy Party.